this is talking about uh, kind of like the cost comparison of uh, doing the using different aircrafts. Do you know this story specifically? Uh, no, I don't actually. Okay. <laughs> like I, I've been told it, but it's not on the top of my mind, so I apologize for that. But no, I think this is, a, this is a we have on our website. Uh, it might be on your website or soon to be is an ROI calculator where you're able to enter in uh, your project parameters, uh, you know, area, cost of labor, all that. It will give you an accurate representation of how what you can expect from a Wingtra doing the project or you know various other popular multi rotor drones and versus like terrestrial methods, etc. But, you know, what's nice about that is you are entering the data. So it's not numbers that some, you know, engineer is making up. Like you could just look at your past projects and enter in, you know, it took us X amount of time to, you know, to survey an acre. And then you put the same thing in for the wing trail. You're like, wow, I could have done that significantly faster. So one thing that uh, in, in the drone space, solar has kind of taken hold of uh solar inspection has taken hold of drones and really like transformed that industry where it's a standard when you're looking at these comparisons of traditional methods which is you know putting stakes in the ground and, and whatnot versus using a, a vtol the roi seems pretty obvious is it like getting to the point where drone usage in the surveying space is becoming overwhelmingly popular or where do you think we're at is in terms of that iceberg <laughs> i think iceberg is a good way to refer to it and you know i don't want to step on myself and uh assume what a surveyor might say because i'm pretty sure anything i say will be wrong but in my experience uh it has i think people are seeing the incredible amount of savings that drone surveying can uh, have over terrestrial methods. But if you speak, when I speak to a lot of like surveyors in the field or within these construction companies, whatever, there's still like standard surveying practices that they are doing for their setup with the base stations and uh, creating known points and whatnot that help, you know, tighten up their surveys. So if there is a certain mixture of both uh, drone survey with terrestrial methods. 